Welcome Cancer, welcome to your monthly horoscope for the month of July 2021. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes that I post on my YouTube channel every single day. I do weekly video horoscopes that I post on my channel every single week. And I also do monthly overviews and monthly sun rising sign horoscopes that are on my YouTube channel as well. You are free to watch all of them. And I do request you to hit the subscribe button before we begin. Now, Cancer, as we enter the month of July, a lot of planets are in retrograde. We have Pluto in retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, Neptune retrograde. In the month of June, Mercury did go retrograde, but now it's direct. And we did have a full moon in Capricorn on June 24th. Now, what the retrograde energy means is that the direct movement will slow down. And now, this month is the time to reap the rewards for the work we've already put in. But with Uranus still being direct, with the personal planets direct, we will still be working in certain ways. Now, the June 24th full moon in Capricorn brought some piece of information, revealed certain things that tie back to Jan 2020. Jan of 2020, Saturn and Pluto met up, they conjuncted, and these planets began a new cycle that will stay with us till 2053. And in some ways, our material reality did shift. So on June 24th, with the full moon in Capricorn, we would have understood what that change that happened in Jan of 2020 was about. Now let's talk about July because this is the energy that we're entering the month of July with. And we are also till July 9th in the new moon solar eclipse energy, which was in Gemini, which was a new beginning for you in your spirituality, in your subconscious thinking, thought processes, and in drugs, delusions, addictions, of life, and those as well. And we are still in that energy till July 9th. Actually, eclipses energy lasts longer, but then we will begin the new lunar month on July 9th, which, and let's talk about that. So on July 9th, which is the first important event of July, we have a new moon. Hang on. A new moon in your sign, Cancer, in the sign of Cancer. And this is a whole new beginning for you, for your identity, who you are. And this whole month, you'll be working on this, on yourself, on discovering your identity, reinventing it, or beginning something new connected to it, Cancer. And I do want to mention that this new moon in, in Cancer is different than it has been for the past two or three years. And that is because Saturn, since 2017 December, was in, in the sign of Capricorn, which opposes your sign Cancer right here. So every time there was a new moon in Cancer for the past two to three years, it opposed, Saturn opposed it which meant that it felt difficult. Every time you try to work on your identity, every, try, every time you try to reinvent something connected to your identity or who you were, it felt challenging, it felt difficult. It felt like you require a lot of hard work or there are delays happening. But this new moon, Saturn is in Aquarius. It's not in Capricorn, so it'll feel easier. And also Cancer, for the past two, two and a half years, we've had a lot of eclipses in the Cancer Capricorn axis because the nodes were there. And now that's done with. We won't have those eclipses for quite some time now. And eclipses in your sign, in the sign of Cancer or, or Capricorn, the opposite sign, do feel very challenging. So this new moon is a an easier new moon for you, Cancer, a new beginning to your identity, which will feel easy and you will take the whole month to figure this out. Who you are, who you're becoming, what you need to change. It could even be something as simple as your appearance changing. So that's July 9th. And moving on to July 11th or 12th, depending on where you're at, these dates can vary depending on where you're in the world. So Mercury is going to enter your first house. And Mercury is our mind, it's our communication, it's our thought processes. And wherever Mercury is mentally, our mental energy begins to 
be channeled into those areas of our life and for you that is your identity that is who you are becoming cancer okay and i, I do want to mention another thing that saturn as i mentioned was in capricorn the sign opposing your sign and that was since 2017 december till 2020 december so you might have gone through significant changes between this time frame because saturn was opposing opposing your sign and this is especially true if you have a lot of planets in the sign of cancer so i just thought i'd mention it and now mercury coming in to your sign into the sign of cancer entering your first house helping you channel your mental energy to focus on you is a good thing i think because you have had a new beginning when it comes to your identity now you're going to use your mind to develop that identity more and then we'll move on to july 15th cancer let me clean up the chart a little on july 15th chiron will go retrograde now chiron is our deepest wound but it's also how we heal and chiron has been transiting your 10th house which means the healing that you're receiving is in matters of your business your career your public life and chiron heals in a peculiar way it heals us through wounding us more and that has been happening for everybody but for you in in your house of career business public life and now when chiron will go retrograde on july 15th that active healing process will stop, will slow down, which means the active wounding process will also ease out. So now is a time where that active bittersweet process of healing, wounding, wounding, healing will kind of slow down, connected to your career, connected to your business. And then on July 21st, Cancer, Venus is going to leave your second house and enter your third house. And for the past 20, 25 days, till July 21st, Venus has been making you more receptive to and giving you gifts connected to your values, self-worth, possessions, skills, finances. And now it's going to do the same thing, make you more receptive to and give you gifts connected to your immediate environment, your peer group, your surroundings, communication, writing, your thinking in your mind as well. And on July 22nd, let me clean this up. On July 22nd, the sun is going to leave your sign and come into your second house. And what this means is for the past 30 days, the sun has been illuminating, bringing to light matters associated with your identity, with who you are, with who you are becoming. And now it's going to do the same, bring to light, illuminate, matters associated with your self-worth, values, skills, finances, monetary possessions. And that energy is going to be there for the next 30 days, starting July 22nd. Then on July 23rd, we have a very important event, and it's the full moon in Aquarius. It's going to happen at one degree of Aquarius. The moon's going to move on here. At one degree, we're going to have a full moon in Aquarius. And full moons are culmination points, they are completion points, they are release points. It's a point where you can see things clearly. And there are two to three things you're seeing clearly, Cancer. And the first is the new beginning that happened for you in your first house on July 9th, which was about your identity, who you are, who you are becoming, or something as simple as your appearance. And the second thing goes back to about Feb. 11th i believe around feb the new moon in aquarius around then you seeded something you started something and now you're able to see what that was more clearly and this new beginning for you happened in your eighth house of intimacy investments personal karmic matters and the third thing you might be able to see clearly is something that happened in December of 2020. And in December of 2020, Saturn and Jupiter met up at zero degrees of Aquarius. 
which is also connected to your eighth house, which is investments, intimacy, personal karmic things. There's a new beginning in that area. So these are the things you can see clearly on this full moon in Aquarius on July 23rd. And then on July 27th, Mercury is going to leave your first house and enter your second house. And what this means is that the mental energy that you have been channeling into your identity, into who you're becoming, into yourself, your appearance will now shift and be channeled into matters of your skills, your self-worth, your values, your finances, your material possessions. And soon after this, on July 28th, Jupiter will retrograde and re-enter your 8th house. It is currently in your 9th house because Pisces is your 9th house Cancer. Jupiter changed signs on May 13th. So on May 13th, it shifted houses and entered your 9th house. Now it's re-entering your 8th house. And in retrograde, it means you will receive the rewards for the work that you put in in matters associated with intimacy investments and personal karmic matters as Jupiter was direct. And the last thing happens on July 29th, Mars is going to enter your third house. And wherever Mars is transiting, it re-energizes that area, it reinvigorates it. And for you, for the past 40 days, it has re-energized and reinvigorated matters associated with self-worth, value, skills, and finances. And now it's going to do the same for your communication, to your mind, your thought processes, writing, if you're into that, your immediate environment, siblings, your group. And this happens once in two years. So it's not a very common event either. And that was your astrological overview for the month of July. Uh, do let me know if you'd like to know the major themes that are going on for you. For example, where Neptune has been, because these are very slow moving planets. So they have energies that stay with us for years and can influence certain themes in our lives for years. So Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, but if you want to know where all these planets have been or have been transiting, do let me know and I'll start to include that as well. And I will pick a card for you, Cancer, and then we can close this reading out. says exchanging gifts and, and I think this is a very positive card I think this exchange of gifts is referring to the rewards that usually come when planets go retrograde as I mentioned a lot of the planets as we enter July are retrograde it's the time to receive You've done the work, you've given your gift, you've, you've put in the work, you've given your gift to the universe and the now, now the universe is going to give those gifts back to you. And this is especially true for you Cancer because like I mentioned, till now, till now Saturn was in Capricorn opposing your sign and if you have a lot of planets there, at least your sun was definitely there if you're a uh, Cancer sun sign. So it was opposing that which means it was making a 180 degree angle and asking you to change certain things, put certain things in order, take decisions in Saturn energy does not always feel very easy and now it's moved on. So this, the energy of changing, of transforming, of taking decisions connected to you has eased off and Saturn also demands hard work. So for the past three years, I think you've put in a lot of hard work and now is the time, now is the time that the universe will give you some gifts. It's the time for that reward to come back into your life. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And 
if you enjoyed this video do hit the subscribe button and i will see you in one of my other videos and do let me know if you want to see or know about the major background themes that are happening like neptune uranus pluto saturn and i'll include those have a great day and i'll see you next time bye